Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Samantha. Today we're still celebrating Revolution's fifth birthday, but this time I'm going to be celebrating by sharing with you my favourite Revolution Pro products. I've got my beautiful box again, but this time it won't even close because there's so many products in here to share with you. I am obsessed. I went crazy for this brand when it first launched. It launched all at once. I did a whole month of videos for you. It was amazing. Absolutely love it. So what I'm going to do is share with you a product first of all that I haven't been able to find. I don't know where it's gone to, but I want to mention it today because it's so beautiful, it's so gorgeous, I'm gonna to have to repurchase. And it is the Revolution Pro 4K highlighter quad in, I think it's rose gold. Um, I do love the gold as well, but rose gold, obviously, I love pink, is my absolute favorite. So I will be repurchasing that over the weekend and possibly sharing that with you um, at a later date. But getting on to the products that I have got. Now, <laughs> first of all, this is a product that you will see in every single, or in the description, where I put all of my makeup for that particular day, you will always see this, and it is the Revolution Pro Eye Elements. And it looks like this, it's only a few pounds. I love that it's in a little pot. I use a little brush to um, apply it on the lid. I also use it to carve out my brows. It's a very thick formula. Um, I'll just show you the actual pot. Now I've used so many of these and I need to repurchase again, which I will do over the weekend. But this is beautiful. I use the shade Central. I did actually use the yellow, um, I can't remember what the name of it is now, but I used the yellow toned um, shade because online this actually looks very deep. So I thought, oh no, that's gonna look too deep for me. Um, or be too deep for me, but actually um, the banana shade was a little bit too yellow, or the yellow tone, so I picked up this and it is perfect for my skin tone. So if you have a similar skin tone to me, then Central is the one for you. It works beautifully. I also have some discoloration. It covers all of that. Um, it brightens the inner corner. I've still got a little bit of darkness, but that's just how my face is. Um, but yeah, it really does, um, go on really, really nicely. I just apply it with a brush, pat it on. Sometimes I set it, sometimes I don't, depending on what I want to do, but either way works beautifully and I can't recommend this enough. I did actually trial it with the new um, eye base from, and I can't remember the name of it, um, from Revolution, I believe, a couple of weeks ago. This still came out on top. I just can't live without it, it's beautiful. I do believe it's four pounds actually, but all of the links will be down below as usual. Um, now this is another item that when it first launched really, really worked beautifully for me. I'm now getting back into highlights. I think we're going into spring, a little bit more sunshine in Norfolk and I'm starting to get into highlight a little bit more. But on those days where I don't want so much highlight, this is perfect and it is the Revolution Pro Skin Finish. The one that I'm wearing today is Luminescence. Um, it looks like this, it is absolutely beautiful. I think there's um, a shade for everybody. I really love how it looks like MAC. In fact, I did, I don't have it anymore, but I did actually do a video where I compared this against um, Soft and Gentle, but the one that I compared and matched was Radiance, which is a little bit deeper. This one um, is obviously lighter. It, I've got it on today. It's soft, it's beautiful. Why I love this brand so much is, it's just so professional. Not only does it look professional, it, the products are so beautiful. And this is comparable to the Soft and Gentle from MAC. Um, so, you know, it's only a few pounds. Amazing. Okay, um, now getting on to some eyeshadows. I have these two, I'm obsessed with these. And these are the Supreme eyeshadows. The first one is Allure. Um, I really, really love this. I think out of both of them, this is my favorite. I think that these are absolutely stunning. They are so soft, so creamy. They're like a, especially the shimmer, they are a cream to powder formula. 
I particularly love that purple. I mean, I just love the shades in here. They work beautifully. You've got a neutral look. You've got a, I don't know, day to night look. You've got everything. That on the, um, either the lid or in a corner is beautiful. You also have a matte cream. You have a matte black. You have a deeper brown obviously to go in the crease and you have some beautiful shades to go on to the you know as your transition and then you've got these shimmers you've also got this like pink purple shade there absolutely beautiful love it and i think these are six pounds the next one is more neutral but it's got a beautiful peach tone and it's captivate and that is the peach tone oh these are just beautiful There's the peach tone. I mean, that sheen. You don't need to dig in. You don't need to um, put a lot of product on your brush. These are just amazing. Again, really like the professional look of these as well. I'm just going to wipe that swatch off just in case I want to swatch more things. Okay. This is a new product, if I can dig it out. Um, but I'm obsessed. Now, I'm nearly using up um now the reason i'm saying that is because i actually received a damaged um product to start with and that'll give you an idea if you watch my videos uh, regularly now i received a damaged product it was smashed to smithereens and i mean it actually was powder um the product that i'm talking about is the powder foundation i use f4 now it was smashed to smithereens like i say but i still wanted to use it obviously the mirror hadn't smashed so it was really easy for me to use and I've been using it ever since. In fact, I've been using it on its own. Um, there was a week, a couple of weeks ago, where all I wore was this. Um, there was also, um, there are also times like this week where I'm using it to set under my eye. I won't use any other powder um, at the moment because I'm just loving how it doesn't crease under the eye. It is amazing so not only does it look fantastic on its own um and I, i'm also um talk, whenever i talk about these products i'm not i'm not talking about you know when i'm filming but to anybody that will listen i rave about this product and tell them because i have had a lot of comments about my under eye area how non-creased it is and so anybody who mentions it I mentioned this product because it is amazing so um, yeah it was smashed it's made it very easy to use under the eye to set everything I'm hoping that and this is a new one that I'm going to show you because they did obviously replace it Superdrug replaced it very easy easily um, but yeah it's I'm hoping that the compact works as good as the powder um, because obviously that was smashed. So it looks like this, it comes in a compact form. Again, really like how professional it looks, beautiful. Um, it's like that kind of size. I'll just put it to my hand. It's that kind of size to my palm, fits or covers the whole of my palm. Um, like I say, I use the shade F4. Now when I open it, mm, there we go. Um, when I open it, you've got a little mirror there. So you've got a mirror. And then turning it up, you've got the actual product covered with one of these sheets. So I'll just pop that in there. And then when you lift this part up, so you, you just... <laughs> um, there we go. I'm pulling at the wrong part there. So when you lift it up, you have a little sponge applicator there probably won't use it but you know because i usually use a brush but for on the go um you know works beautifully okay so that is your compact these are five pounds five pounds for powder foundation that really works it works beautifully like i say on its own works beautifully i am obsessed i really hope that this never ever gets discontinued because my under eye area is amazing this is the only powder that actually works underneath my eye with the conceal and define and i know a few of you have this issue with the conceal and define um, that it creases but with this there is no creasing i even had a, um, a comment yesterday um, from one of you mentioning how my under eye looked so good and it's all down to the conceal and define and this powder Okay, 
we've got still a lot of products. Now moving on <laughs> to some more eyeshadows. Now, when these launched, when I used them, I was obsessed. I'm wearing this one today, and it is the Revolution Pro Regeneration Palette. So these are the larger palettes, and I'm wearing today Revelation. So it looks like that. Yes, if you've never seen this before, it does look like the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette, and except this one is obviously the shimmers are down there and the Huda Beauty is like that. Um, but yeah, it looks very, in fact, I'll leave it like that. It looks very, very similar. Um, why pay 50, is it 56 pounds for a palette when you can get this for eight? Um, and if you are lucky enough to live in the UK when Superdrug has their offers, you can actually get three of these palettes and pay two for two. So I absolutely love it. The mattes are beautiful. The shimmer, which shimmer did I use today? I used this one, which is a rose gold shimmer, Thrill. Used that, and then I did the inner corner with this one, which is the gold one called Fearless. And for the base, for the mattes, I used Rebound. That one there, absolutely beautiful. Matches my top perfectly. And then I went in with Unruly, which is more like a red tone pink, in the crease, and then I um, deepened it up with the shade Lust, which is that brown there. This is un unbelievable. The quality is amazing. The shimmers are just beautiful. I mean, do I need to say any more? I don't think so. So that is that one. Um, I've forgotten the name already, Revelation, because I use them. I don't necessarily, you know, talk about the, um, the names of the palette. I know this one, um, Goldmine. And I love this one. I mean, look at this. Oh, earthy, golden. This is a neutral warm palette, but it doesn't look like every other palette that you see. It's so golden, but it's a nice gold. I think we have seen a lot of gold based palettes that look really, I don't know, tacky. Um, but this isn't, it's again, professional. It's golden, but it's gorgeous beautiful love it and i really love that color there i'm gonna to have to keep this palette out and perhaps wear it tomorrow gorgeous okay that's gold mine then we have this one which is restoration i think this one gets forgotten because it looks not perhaps as in your face um, and as such a you know distinctive color story but this one is beautiful. Um, again, this one is a dupe for, is it the ABH um, Modern Renaissance palette? I'm sure that's the one. So if you want an alternative, a cheaper alternative, you may want to try this. Now I apologize, obviously it's very shiny, so it's very difficult to show you without a little bit of a shine coming through, but it's just beautiful. Again, warm but you've got some beautiful shades in there. Um, I'm gonna have to put the palette somewhere else. They're balancing on top of the foundation. This one is my all time favorite. Um, I use this over and over and over and it's unleashed. Um, you can see that it looks very battered. Um, it's just stunning. Oh, gorgeous. Some of the shades look like they're hard panned don't be put off by that these shadows are so soft that all you have to do is pop your brush in again because I always use a finger and um, you know it will you know take that off you know it's absolutely fine I've used this palette over and over again I've never had any quality issues with it and it is beautiful I think my favorite shades you can see there's dips in these this one here this one there so I always go in with that one which is disengage then over the top I use or in the crease to deepen it up your loss and then I go in with vindicate here either vindicate or um, is it pardon so this quad here um, yeah sort of these two here and these two here are my staples for the mats and then you can see that I love this one which is called cut loose 
and I love independent. I mean, that is, that's got a huge dent on, in it. And then I love alleviate uh, on the inner corner. It's a real peachy pink shade. Love it. Um, if you want to um, perhaps try a palette, um, you're not quite sure which one to go for, try Unleashed first of all, you will love it and want more. Okay, the last one from the collection is this one again. This is so unusual, and this one is Mirage. It's really got an unusual mix of colours. You might think, because I think there's a big kind of, um, uh, I don't know, it's popular to wear brights on your eyes, but you know, for everyday use, these are the kind of palettes that I use. I just absolutely love them. And Mirage, I mean, it is unusual to me. You know, it's not like every other neutral palette. Obviously, I'd love your thoughts on that. <laughs> okay, now for some lip products. This brand has really delivered with the lip products. I am obsessed. Now, I'm sorry if I'm jogging the table. I have got so many lip products from this brand. I can't really... Uh, give you a particular favourite from this range and they are, if I can get them all in my hand, the Revolution Pro Supreme Matte Lip Pigments. Now I'm wearing these today. Oh, I, I am obsessed with these. I have ombre my, and sorry, I've just had to put them back in the box. I've ombre my lip today. I'm using or wearing Elevation. So I put Elevation all over the lip. That is extremely deep. And then I went in with um, to ombre out Immunity. If you love ombre your lips, then you need Immunity. It is beautiful. It is this kind of a pink. It's, it's very pink, but it's like a sort of deeper Barbie pink, but it works beautifully with the rest of these shades to ombre. So I would definitely recommend that one. I'll go through the shades that I've got, if I can read them. Visionary. This is going to be really long, but I'll go through them as quick, quickly as I can. I won't swatch them. So Visionary, we have got... Um, what is that one? Pretense. The writing is so small and it's only on the sticker. So pretense, which is like a cool brown. Um, we have got um, charade. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is another one that I ombre with. Yeah, charade. Then I've got um, illusion. Another gorgeous one. I wore it with, oh, well, I've been wearing this a lot. It's like a deep rich brown um <laughs> then i've got veil oh this is gorgeous veil i've got videos for these so i'll link them all down below if you want to see these in action and swatched then i've got semblance i was wearing this in yesterday's video if you love your pink looks um and this is like a cool pinky grayish pink uh, you need that one, absolutely stunning. What I will also say with these is they dry down um, quite slowly. So if you don't like those kind of matte liquid lipsticks that dry down and suck the life out of your lips, these are much more of a cream formula and they are beautiful, but once they've dried down, they will not budge. Um, this one is Premonition. This is another one that's actually quite deep, Premonition. I've only got three more and then I'm on to the last product. So bear with me. Elevation. Elevation. That one I could have wore today actually. This one is, did I say illusion? Anyway, I hope I said this one. This is the one that I'm wearing today. So telepathy. You can see how deep it is. But that um, illusion really does, not a, illusion, is it illusion? Um, I've been saying so many names now. Anyway. The one that I said that you need, <laughs> the pink, is it this one? Oh my goodness, so many. Anyway, the one that I said that you need, um, it really lightens up the lip, so that's telepathy. And then the last one is facade, another one that I use to um, ombre with, because it's very light. Absolutely beautiful lipsticks, 
Uh, I just love it. I also love the doe foot applicator. Okay, now for some real favourites. And I've actually brought in a couple that are my backups. But anyway, that's the only reason I'm saying that is because they're still wrapped in um, in their cellophane. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to undo them quickly enough to show you. Oh, here we go. I picked these up because on the Revolution site and in Superdrug, you can actually pick these up so, so quickly. So my very last product that I want to talk about um, while I'm quickly unwrapping three of them is the uh, Revolution Pro Supreme Lipstick. So these are their regular lipsticks. They're in the bullets. One more to take the cellophane off. Um, if you like um, MAC lipsticks and you want a cheaper alternative, again, try these. They are, and I think I've done a dupe video with these ones um, against MAC. My favourite lipstick was Faux. To be honest, I don't bother with MAC lipsticks anymore. Why? When I can pick these up. I think they retail for £5, but you can always pick them up on the Revolution site or Superdrug for £2.50, um, something like that. Um, I'm sure that they were in the recent sale, so if I can still find them, I'll pop them down below for you in a link. These are absolutely stunning lipsticks. Like I say, they are comparable to MAC. Um, I'll start with the ones that um, are unwrapped. So I've got five here that I use constantly. Um, again, I ombre with these. So easy to ombre with. They are so rich, so creamy. Uh, unlike MAC lipsticks, um, they don't have different formulas. They are all like comfortable matte. Um, I used to find it quite annoying going into MAC and if you wasn't careful because they don't put them all, you know, like they're, I don't know, they, they're different formulas all together. You can pick up one thinking that it's a matte and actually it could be a more glossy finish. But with these, they're all the same and they are absolutely beautiful. So the first one is a Tyrant. And this one is a brown, but it's beautiful to ombre with if you have, you know, like a deeper brown lipstick. So I'll, I'll swatch all of these because we're now going into the last product. So there's Tyrant. Absolutely stunning lipsticks. Uh, the next one is called Instigator. Um, beautiful. So there's Instigator. Then we have a Provocateur, which is this one. It looks new because I've just taken the wrapping off because I brought in the wrong ones. <laughs> I brought in my backups. There's that one. And then we have my all time favorite, which is Heroin. Again, I've brought in the backup, so it's new. Whoops, let me show you it first. There we go. I mean, absolutely gorgeous I could have put that on let me actually just put a bit in the middle mm. so easy they're so creamy so soft and creamy but just like these ones they will dry down um, and they will last and last and last. When I go out, I always take a backup of a lipstick, but with these, I never have to, um, you know, replenish my, or, or go over the lipstick again. I just don't have to do that. So that one is heroin. Gorgeous, obviously you've seen it applied. Uh, and then this one is rebellious. There's rebellious. I'll do that the side. Whoops. So there's rebellious. Very similar to heroin. A little bit matter that one. Um, heroin seemed to have a little bit more of a creamy finish, but once on the lips, they dry down. They're absolutely beautiful. Love, love, love. I mean gorgeous you saw how easy it was 
to apply and to ombre with it. Okay, I'm just looking around. There's no more products. That is it. That's everything that I absolutely love from Revolution Pro. The products that I've been sharing with you over the last couple of days are products that I keep returning to. They're products that, um, apart from the 4K highlighter, because I wanted to, to bring that in, but I, I just can't find it. Um, that's the thing with daughters. You tend to do find that, you know, makeup doesn't go missing occasionally. And that's what's happened with that. But I will pick it up again over the weekend. I've got to pick up some more skincare because um, from Revolution, because I've started to get halfway through the um, gel cream and I'm panicking because I don't ever want to run out of it. So I'm definitely going to be hitting Superdrug at the weekend and hopefully I can find those two items that I want. Um, but yeah, that's everything that I want to share with you. If you have any questions um, that you want to ask me, like, you know, which palette I would recommend or which lipsticks, you know, I'm happy to answer any of your questions. I try and get back to each and every one of you. Um, and I always read every single comment. So please do keep the comments coming in. I'd love to know your favorite Revolution Pro product. Have I mentioned it? Have I not? I'd love to hear that. And of course, if you have just stumbled across my channel, I would love it if you stuck around to subscribe so you can watch further videos. But as always, until tomorrow, thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you. Bye.